Welcome back to the channel. Today we're unboxing Building and Painting Modern War Series Kit Number 1 from Masterbox. Now Masterbox is a Ukrainian uh, model building uh, model company and they have been around since um, I believe around year 2000. So if you're looking to support uh, Ukrainian made then definitely um, take a look at Masterbox. So we get two figures in the pack. The instructions for the build um, are on the back and also a color guide. Now you can obviously go with a color guide they've provided um, but I actually went with a woodland um, camo um, with my build. So look you can really go with whatever color uniform you like. These are Western um, characters uh, in terms of their weaponry they're holding. So they're holding a um, AR um, rifle and a um, what looks like a MP5 type submachine gun. So look, um, go go with whatever um, weapon color you prefer. So look, uh, Masterbox um, is this is the first kit I've built with Masterbox. Uh, the kit uh, the uh, the kit looks really good uh, in terms of the quality of build, good level of detail, not um, really much any, not really um, very much excess at all on the parts that need to be centered back, um, other than the usual molding that you get with um, pretty much any set. Um, so here we are just um, starting that process of removing those um, mold lines from the model. Uh, so of course you want to remove these as much as possible because when you paint it um, they will be fairly obvious. So try to remove them as, as much as possible. Some parts of the model, um, particularly the torso, you will have uh, the parts of the torso um, with pouches and um, equipment that cover those mold lines so you probably don't need to do as much um, mold line removal there but of course um, I, I'm doing it here as you can see um, just to make sure that um, everything fits together cleanly and um, when it's painted we're not going to see those mold lines. So I'm using Timeo glue here um, so I'm gluing this together before I do any painting, before I apply that, that primer for that first coat. Um, now if you're new to modeling, uh, the reason why we do this is because modeling glue is, is for plastic to plastic, not um, painted surfaces. So if you try to glue on a painted surface to a painted surface, or an unpainted surface to a painted surface, um, it's really going to become a bit of a mess. It's not going to work real well. So if you do paint a surface and you do need to glue, then you're going to need to send that back. So just using a rubber band here just to keep those two sides to together uh, nice and cleanly. Uh, some extra glue inside just to really make sure that I get that nice bond there. Just making sure those shoulders line up there because they've got the, um, the shoulder pads there. Um, if they're not aligned, then those shoulder pads will look a bit funny. Um, of course, you can sand that back if need be. Okay, so just working on the other torso here. Love these model scissors. Um, they're great. So fast to remove these parts from the frame. Uh, just using the model knife to remove some of these larger bits of excess to save me sanding it all. But obviously be careful with those modeling knife. You do not want to remove any more than you absolutely need to. Okay, just uh, some more sanding here. So Masterbox um, are releasing or have or are releasing some uh, obviously um, uh, new sets that are covering the latest conflict, the current conflict with uh, Russia. So they'll be definitely ones to look out for and uh, I will try and get hold of those if I can. Uh, I've got some other Masterbox sets um, already 
that you will see um, in the coming months um, built on this channel. Uh, won't say too much more. I also have one other master box set in progress in build at the moment, which is a single figure. And you'll probably see that um, up on the channel in the next uh, week or two. Okay, let's get this torso together. Just sending that excess back. Yeah, you really want to get this, um, you really want to make sure that everything fits together. If you do have gaps, then you can use um, model filler. And I'll show a couple of photos very shortly uh, where I've used model filler on these models just to fill up some of those gaps. Put the model filler in and then sand that model filler back to get that really nice smooth finish. That way, once it's painted, you end up with um, a really good um, finished product. Okay, so here we are um, removing the pouches and equipment. Now you can actually use a bit of liberty to, in terms of what pouches you use and where you place them. There's also some, some extra um, uh, pistol, um, uh, this actual pistol, pistol um, pouch in the in the set. There's some extra helmet in the set. So, and there's some extra um, radio in the set. So you could have the figure holding the radio. Um, instead of their weapon. So there's a, whole, there's a lot of different options that you can do. So don't feel constrained here. You, you can actually use a bit of artistic license. Um, I've pretty much kept largely to what you see on the box. Um, you don't really see the back of the figures on the box. So with the male figure I have um, I have uh, placed the radio for him on the back. Yeah, and if I didn't mention it already, um, we do get a male and female figure in his set. Um, the reason why it's a the reason why it's a, the reason why I can tell it's a female figure is obviously on the on the box art. Um, it's it's a female figure. You can tell from the facial features. So in the model itself, the model also um, has some feminine features to it, i.e., the lips are fuller. Um, and just the face itself, um, you can tell as a female figure. So, yeah. Now on the box art for the female figure, it doesn't, she looks like she's carrying some other rifle, like a 5.56 type rifle, but you do only get a uh, MP5 type submachine gun. So box art is slightly different to what you actually get in reality, but not a great difference there. Okay, just sanding down the arms here um, and just checking the fit there. Obviously you can pose these arms in different positions, but if you do that then you, you may have to cut the arms, you may have to use more filler, but go for it. The male figure is holding um, his rifle um, in his right hand, um, pointing more towards the ground, and he's checking the um, uh, some sort of communication device on his left hand. But of course you can change those things around if you want to. Um, but again, I've fairly, pretty much kept to the vanilla um, build for this. Now, I also built a diorama. I will um, release that as a separate video, uh, focusing and explaining more about the diorama build. And I think I think um, you want to put these figures if you can on, on a small diorama. I think it I think it just makes it look better. Go. Yeah, so getting the other arm on. Okay, so here we uh, here we see the use of the filler. I ultimately then centered that back. This is the surface primer I used, Vallejo. Here's them being after being primed. Here's them uh, post uh, their uh, painting. I did change the eyes around on the female character. Here's them on their diorama. And I'm quite happy with the final build and I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, please join us, like and subscribe and join me for a future video. Thank you.